Hi guys, it's me here, Pooh Bear Two Five Three. Basically, making some delicious lemonade out of the lemon I have been given. So today, at least I thought was the day I was supposed to go do my first round of therapy. And it turns out that my first round of therapy was supposed to be Tuesday on the 28th. I saw in the paper the 28th, of course, you know, but over the summer I haven't been keeping up with the dates. And in my mind, I saw Thursday, July 28th on there, which is uh, impossible because... The 28th was Tuesday. So, I don't know if when my husband first told me about my therapy, you know, did he say Thursday? Did I just hear Thursday? Because at that point, I still was on medication. Uh, but it just was drilled in my brain that my therapy was supposed to be Thursday. We went there today at 1030 and the lady was like, your appointment was for Tuesday. I was like, what? I was just so confused. I was like, huh? Like, are you serious? And so we rescheduled for Tuesday, which is my first day back to work, for 7.30 in the morning. So I'm going to go do the therapy and then go to work. So that's going to be fun. Yay. Anyway, so I'm kind of really not happy about that at all. Um, yeah, and the day before that, the Monday, I'm going to my first post-op doctor's appointment. So basically, with my smart self, what I did, I was like, well, let me just try to make some lemonade out of this. I was like, everything's on the internet. So I just searched, show me uh, therapy exercises for shoulder after surgery. And this whole little compilation of things I've pulled up, and I've just been watching those. Some of them I'm going to need Cedric to help me with. But just to jumpstart my recovery, I'm just doing my own therapy. Like, they have very detailed videos. It's from some doctor that specializes. It actually says they're in Colorado. Uh, some doctor that specializes in shoulder surgery and stuff. And the area that they were showing, I was like, yep, that's exactly where I got mine at. Like, my little hole here. But I have one here and back there. Basically, so long as it doesn't hurt too bad i'm just gonna do it so um coming down so they said to kind of keep the blood flowing or whatever this is my little ball i just blew back up again to kind of just squeeze he said there's no amount of these to do so I, while i'm just watching tv i need an actual ball i'm sure my husband maybe has one somewhere but I had this little cloud that he had gave me, and it's kind of hurting my hand a little bit. But so I'm just kind of squeezing it. And they said that's supposed to pump the swelling and the soreness back to the heart or something, pump the soreness out. Something they said. And then this other thing with the towel, and you're supposed to, uh, they say you're supposed to assist, put your hand on there or whatever and just kind of slide use your shoulder to just kind of slide the arm forward and back so i kind of got the chair down low and i'm on my coffee table so this was another one of the exercises and you say like don't really contract your muscles just kind of slide and let the lean into it this is basically kind of just to stretch it out, I guess. It feels good. It starts to hurt when I get about right here. So you can do it front ways, and then they say like a 45 degree angle. You kind of turn a little bit and do the same thing. Uh, I can go further that way. And then just kind of drag your arm back up. That feels really good. I've been doing this for like the last few minutes. This is my second time doing this video. It got cut short because my cat was chewing on my little tube to pump up my little exercise ball. So I had to hurry and jump up. And I was like, Touches, I'm going to kill you. And she ran off. And I just put it up in that box. 
So I was like, okay, well, I can't end the video like that. So I'm just doing another one. So, well, everybody knows I'm not actually going to kill her because I love my cats. And I do definitely do not condone violence towards animals or people or any living creature that doesn't include spiders, though. And if it gets in my house and if it's a creepy crawly, it's got to go. Sorry. If you stay outside, I won't bother you. <laughs> so this is like some of the exercises. And then another one, they say you like put your hand on the towel and just kind of wipe. It was really good. So I was like, hey. I was like, yes, I found something. I was so excited. I was like, yay. My hubby's going to help me with the other ones, like very detailed videos or whatever. So I've just been kind of doing the easier, simple ones first. Just, you know, because I'm just starting. So not going to be trying to do all kinds of wild and crazy things because my shoulder technically does hurt very much. But these exercises here is just kind of to get the blood flowing, just to get it moving because it's, it's so tight and stuff. It feels so weird. I, I hope when it heals, I hope that it's I hope it's like 100% up oh, flowers all in the way. So, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm at home. I hate it when I get lighting and it's like on my head and I look really strange. Hmm. Bad lighting. Over, overhead lighting is not good at all. Darn it. Flower. Oh, well. Well, I just, I'm just i just going to have to look weird to you guys. Sorry. Bad lighting. Oh, we don't buy any type of special bulbs or anything. Just regular old bulbs. Cheap bulbs. So, I'll put it right here. Right. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. What am I doing? Tip it some. I can see my exercises that I'm doing. Ugh. That actually feels really good. And there's another one that you kind of hold on and dangle your arm in a circle. But that hurts my back. I was like, uh, no, let's not do that. So I've just been kind of doing these. And there's another thing where you like use the little band thing i had this from before when i first went about the whole issue and they gave me gave me a shot and gave me these little bands to exercise my shoulder and i was like that's not gonna work so i'm supposed to sit on the floor and do this and you're supposed to just kind of extend your foot i'm just doing it in the air Ugh. They said so you don't get blood clots or something like that. So I was doing this on the floor. I just don't feel like going back down on the floor. So I've just been kind of doing my own little therapy here, ladies. And that's what I've been doing. So I hope everyone is doing well. This is what I'm doing today. I'm gonna. I'm about to get back on the floor and do these things correctly right now i'm just holding my leg up in the air and stretching i just popped this darn thing here's a piece of it they are not made out of much that's for sure so that's what i've been doing so basically what i'm just kind of doing is squeezing this ball thing that helps so let's see. Oh, I would rather. I guess I'll sit back on the floor. And there was another one. I wonder if I could. I wonder if I could even show you guys. Ugh. Where you get uh, the ball. Like I say, my table is kind of low. So I just trying to do the best that I can with what I got and you're supposed to assist your arm up on the ball 
whatever. And since the table's kind of low, I'm kind of like, I kind of like do squats with it. <laughs> so you're kind of like standing. You're supposed to, ah, oh, but so that I'm the right height, I kind of have my legs open and I'm kind of squatting down. This is supposed to help too. So you just kind of, ah, oh, stretching it out. Feels real good. So you're supposed to do it forward and then you're supposed to like turn to the side and do it this way. So I just kind of lean down with it a little bit. I just kind of squat. So it's kind of two exercises in one. I can do like squats and working my shoulder at the same time. Ugh. Ugh. Legs can definitely use some work too. Uh. So this is what I've been doing, my own therapy that I saw on a YouTube video. So yay YouTube. It's like this doctor in Colorado that kind of like just compiled a little video series for like rehab for people that just had shoulder surgery so i'm very thankful to that guy uh so i just do a little bit you know so that's what i've been doing so um i'll show you guys what i can do so far like i can always do this that's not the problem so another thing they were saying like they were to measure like your arm's supposed to go all the way up so like this arm, whoops, I hate to like, I can go all the way up like that. But this one, ugh, ugh, about right there, and that hurts. Okay. And then they want you to kind of go out to the side. Ugh, so this one I can go all the way. They kind of want you to go to kind of to the side that they, they measure. I know you're saying like this is 90 degrees, this is zero. So it looks like I'm probably about a 30 or something, if that's 90, you know. So. Oh. That's pushing it right there. Oh, but that's much better than what I was doing. And then they want you to go out to the side, I think. And side. Hey, that's pretty good. I couldn't go that far at first. So that's my normal arm. And this is the poor little arm that I have to do therapy on. So, so this is stuff that's going to be assisted. Like I'm not going to use my muscles and Cedric's going to lift it for me. So we'll see how well that works out. I don't know if I trust him enough to help me with that. He's not like a licensed physical therapist, but some of the stuff that I have to do laying down, I'll get him to help me doing that. So thanks for joining me here with me and my own little physical therapy. And I've just been kind of like, you know, just shrugging my shoulder up and down just to kind of stretch it a little bit. And I've been kind of doing like rotations like this will you go away ball leave me alone good lord <laughs> ball keeps bumping me so like this and i've been doing the other way and they were saying like at the beginning they was like doing like neck stretches like supposed to turn two sides this side and that side two times and then over to stretch your arm out your neck out from wearing the sling or whatever and then something like this and back and that's when he went into the you know lifting the arm and stuff with assistance uh and stuff so i can't do that yet like I said, I can do this, but just to go straight up or 
you know, it's like, eh, eh, no, not going to happen. But yeah, this turned into a 15 minute video about me stretching out my arm. Uh, yeah, I don't have my swing on right now because I've been trying to work it out just a tiny bit. So I'm just kind of doing stuff that doesn't hurt too bad, but feels like it's stretching it. <laughs> so yeah, I watched um, four of the little videos and I was like, yeah, I think that's good enough. I don't want to stretch it too much, uh, push it too much was the word. So I hope everybody's having a great Thursday. You know what I'm going to do to make, uh, to put a smile on my face? I'm going to go get one of my beautiful babies and I'm going to get them dressed in the polka dot and stripes. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> that just kind of came out of nowhere. I'm going to go get, uh, one of my babies, possibly, I don't know. Maybe since I just finished doing my little stretch and I might not, I think I'm going to eat lunch first. It is going on one, it's like one twenty, right now. I haven't even had lunch. So I'm just going to just kind of do just my little arm pumps. It's, that was something they said to do at the beginning to pump the swelling out or something they were saying. So let's see if anybody is interested. Well, like I said, you can't see it, but... These are the bandages because I, I covered it. I covered with um, waterproof bandages for taking my shower. So there's one here, here, and on my back. And so the one that, see these right here, I can touch these. They must didn't do like hardly anything to these. This one hurts a little bit. Ah, ah, ah. But which one that really hurts is this one. And it, even it, ouch, even it's not as painful as it once was because just simply doing this was so painful. So I am expecting to have like a full recovery in less than a month, uh, actually, because I don't, because even the doctor said they didn't have to do as much as he had projected and stuff. So, you know, it's always worst case scenarios, what they tell you and type of stuff. But anyway, I'm out of here 17 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone for your thoughts and your prayers. And, you know, a lot of people have been wishing me a speedy recovery. And I really appreciate that. And I just want to thank all of my subbies and subscribers. I know this had absolutely nothing to do with Rear Barnes. It's about me and my poor little shoulder. So hopefully I'll be right as rain and ready to get back in the gym. Because that's what I'm excited about. And ready to tackle my kids. And, you know, get them where they need to be. I have two kids that will be moving on. This will be their last year with me. I've had them for the past three years. And this is their third full year. They were with me like a piece of a year. But this will be their third full year with me. So, technically, I've known them for five... Going, this is the fourth year that I've known these kids. So, basically, yeah. So, I'm going to drill them hard and give them everything I can so they can move on to the next level with as much as possible you know um so we just do as much as we can with our babies but thank you for the well wishes thank you for your prayers and thank you for holding me up in your thoughts I really appreciate that so mwah, love you guys peace bye bye and I'll see you guys in the next video bye